Hello friends, a warm welcome to Arihant Online Academy and here in this video lecture we will learn about the normal forms right. So there are several normal forms currently used in our database management system which is 1NF, 2NF, 3NF, BCNF, 4NF, 5NF and 6NF right. So we will discuss about each and every normal form in detail and find what are the significance of these normal forms and why these are used and convert into one to another normal forms right uh, so let's start basically we have already uh, discussed the functionality of normalization and the concept of normalization in our earlier lectures that why normalization is necessary why ne normalization is used in database management system right so basically it is a process of reducing the redundancy from relation or set of relations basically normal forms are used to reduce or to eliminate the redundancy in database tables right so basically in database tables when there are more kind of data same kind of data then to reduce the redundancy that the same data should not repeated uh, repeatedly so for that uh, normalization is used so that uh, one data can be uh, used and we can use our database very concisely so that space can be reduced and all our the size of table can be reduced and so that the efficiency of the database management should be there because of some database anomalies which we have discussed that update insertion and deletion anomalies that play a very important and huge role in a big database so normalization is very necessary this, this uh, discussion is already done in our earlier lecture so if you want to learn that in very detail that why normalization and normal forms are used you can watch that right and guys please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell button icon so that in our future lecture also whenever we will upload new content for you you will not miss that right so here we are discussing starting from 1nf that is first normal form right so first normal form is defined as follows it should contain unique value so what are the important word here is that it should must contain unique values in the database table in database table it should contain unique value we will see that what is the unique value and how it is used in database table and each cell of the table must contain a single value each cell of a table must contain a single value right so if you will see here it is a table now in this branch is given that computer science engineering and subject is mentioned in front of that algorithm ds and dbms and here mechanical engineering subject is toc tom uh, theory of machines and mechanics and etc you can take any subject right so basically concept here is that each row each cell should contain un uh, single values right and it should be unique so algorithm DSA and DBMS here in one cell multiple values are used three values or we can say that it is multiple values so it is not in a one form it is not in one NF it is not in one normal one NF form right so to convert this in one NF we should have to mention computer science engineering algorithm similarly computer science engineering DSA and computer science engineering DBMS so each cell is now consisting of single values and they are also unique because if computer science engineering is repeated with algorithm again then it should be say that it is not unique but here all these are unique right so it is unique as well as single attributes in each cell that is why we can say that uh, it is in one nf because in mechanical engineering also there are two subjects mentioned in a same cell but it should be a unique also right so here not tom right here mechanics would be there make a next right so mechanical engineering tom and uh, mechanical engineering and uh, mechanics right so these are the name of subjects and these are mentioned we have converted basically this uh, uh, table database table to one nf we are converting this into one nf by placing each cell by placing single values in each cell and mentioning the unique values right so i hope the concept of 1nf is clear to you now let's see what are the concept of 2nf that is second normal form 2nf or second normal form is defined as follows it must be in 1nf so the prerequisite for conversion of 2nf is that at least it should be in 1nf means it should be consist of unique values and single attributes in each cell after that if it is okay then relation must not contain any partial dependency here relation should not contain partial dependency the word partial dependence is very important here 
many times asked in every type of exam whether it is gate net is robar car rb je iit officer la right any kind of csit exam this word is very important that it must not contain partial dependency now we will see and explore that what is the partial dependency is that every known attribute every known prime attribute must be fully dependent on the candidate degree how let's see suppose student mentor table is given to us where one attribute is student id one attribute is mentor id one attribute is student name and other attribute is mentor name right but if you will see here student name can be derived from student id it should not have any relation with mentor id but if we want to derive mentor name then it should be derived from mentor id so here we can say that the candidate key here is student id and mentor id both here mentor id is also candidate key and student id means student id and mentor id both is a candidate key in a combination but student name is only dependent on s id it is not dependent on mid and similarly mentor name is dependent only on mid not in sid so it is partially dependent right because student name and mentor name here they are non prime attributes they are non prime attributes why because it is not a part of candidate key but mid and sid is candidate key it is candidate key in this table the candidate key is student id and mentor id so student name should be dependent on both not on a single one that is why we can say that the partial dependency here similarly mentor name is also dependent only on mid but it should be dependent on both but here it is not so that is why it is not on a 2nf so how to convert 1nf into 2nf so this is a 1nf and to convert we have to decompose the table to decompose table we have to divide the attributes like that a student id a student name and mentor id so this is the part of candidate key student id student name mentor id right and another table is mentor id and mentor name now if you will see mentor name is dependent on mentor id in this table which is candidate key for this which is candidate key for the table for this table the candidate key is mentor id and mentor name is fully dependent on mentor id similarly in this table student name the candidate key here is only student id and student name is dependent on student id so we have decomposed the table that is uh, we have decomposed to convert the 1nf into 2nf so that the partial dependency should not be there so i hope you have understood the concept of partial dependency basically the non prime attribute should not be non prime attribute should not be right non prime attribute should not be fully should not be partial dependent should not be partial dependent on candidate key right so if any candidate key is there then it should be fully dependent if it should be fully dependent then we can say that it is a 2nf form now explore the 3 nf so the basic requirement or prerequisite for a normal form to be in 3 nf is that it should be in 2 nf at least right prerequisite is that it should be in 2 nf now if it is in a 2 nf then after that relation must not have any transitive functional dependency here now here relation should not have any transitive functional dependency now for the purpose of 3 nf we must know the concept of transitive functional dependency what is this let's see here if you will see student id is a candidate key student id is a candidate key or you can say that it is a candidate key now student name is derived from student id age is derived from student id and dob can be derived from this student id but here age can be derived from dob as well age can be derived here from date of birth as well but date of birth is not a candidate key date of birth is not a candidate key but still age can be derived from dob so it is called as transitive functional dependency because only student id is a candidate key but even though age is derived from dob which is not should which, which should not be there so what is the solution so if you will use the concept of super key that we have discussed in our lecture that if we convert the candidate key into super key or we 
can make this DOB along with this student ID means our super key basically super key is candidate key with any combination of the attribute so if I say that my super key is student ID and date of birth both so if I will decompose the 2 NF into 3 NF what I should did here student ID then student name is here and date of birth is here and now in next table date of birth is here and age is here so here age is completely derived from DOB which is a part of super key and in this table student name is derived from student ID which is a candidate key but student ID and date of birth is a super key no problem because we only want that there should not be any transitive functional dependency now further from D DOB should also be derived from student ID here and student name would be all also derived from student ID here there is no any transitive functional dependency in this table as well as in this table there is not any transitive functional dependency because of the concept of super key what we have did here we have made the 2nf into 3nf by decomposing the table by using super key concept super key concept using 3nf so we have here student name is only dependent on student id and in the next table age is derived from dob and dob is connected from this table here right so there isn't any kind of transitive dependency so we can say that this is the 3nf form so i hope the concept is clear there is basically we are using transitive functional dependence so 2nf there is a partial dependency concept in 3nf there is a transitive functional dependency concept right or super key concept now you can see the next normal form that is bias code normal form it is basically an extension of 3nf or you can also say that it is a 3.5 normal form 3.5 nf like 1nf 2nf 3nf it is 3.5 nf it is basically extension of third normal form which says that or states that for any non-trivial functional dependency x tends to a for any non-trivial functional dependency x tends to a x must be a super key here x must be a super key now in above relation which is already in 3nf means for bcnf the normal form should already be in a 3nf the must uh, concept here is that it should must be in 3nf after that we will see whether it is in bcnf or not right now here is student id is the super key student id is the super key and student name is derived from student id and dob is derived from student id and this dob is the age is derived from this dob so basically if you will connect this with the previous form then you can say directly here that it is in a bcnf because here student id is a super key so it is you can say that that it is in a bcnf because it is fulfilling our condition that student id should be super key and uh, there should for any non-trivial functional dependency x tends to a for any non-trivial functional dependency x tends to a like student id tends to student name and dob x must be a super key so student id should be a must be a super key which is following our condition here that is why we can say that it is in a bcnf now let's see the concept of 4nf that is fourth normal form first thing is that it should be in a 3nf and if no database table or object or instance contains two or more independent and multi-valued data describing the relevant entity then it is in a 4nf so basically if the uh, format or the for normal form in a database is in a 3nf and if further we can say that no database table or object contain two or more independent multi-valued data independent multi-valued data right it should not be dependent it should be independent multi-valued data which is describing the relevant entity then it should be in a 4nf right so basically the concept that we use in database table is uh, limited to 3nf but for the purpose of knowledge and uh, the advantage over this normal forms we are discussing that right now the fifth normal form is again here for fifth normal form the prerequisite is that the database table should be in 4nf and it should not be further decomposed into any smaller table without loss of any data right so suppose the normal form is your table is in 4nf now it should not be able to convert into any smaller table without loss of any data if there is a loss of data then it should not be we can not say that it is in normal form right so without loss of data if it should not 
possible to convert it into smaller table then it is in a 5nm and basically six normal form is under not standardized yet by the dbma experts but hopefully we will know it about in future because currently it is not standardized in any database table right so i hope it is clear to you the concept of 1nf 2nf 3nf 4nf and bcnf and 5nf 6nf right so if you have any kind of confusion and doubts you can comment us we will solve your doubts and comment as early as possible for getting such kind of more lectures and uh, important uh, uh, video materials for your upcoming examination whether you are preparing for any kind of csit related exam please subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that we can understand the requirement of your lectures and we will upload some kind of lecture according to that right thank you so much guys have a nice day jai hind jai bharat and please don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and press the bell icon button so that you can get instant updation from our youtube channel thank you so much guys